Hi, it's Kim here from the Time Slip Simulator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Run Generation feature. So on the Time Slip Entry screen, there's a Generate button. And what it allows you to do is create a time slip based on the left lane and ET that you enter. So I'm going to change it to 660 feet. And it can be used primarily for two reasons. One is for training. So trying, uh, visualizing different um, runs and different track positions depending whether you're the slower or faster vehicle, whether you had the reaction time advantage, for example. The second way that you can use it is as to, to run your race before it actually happens. And this is the one we're going to focus on in this video. So let's say that you're heading towards the end of the, the evening and you've been seated and you've been running um, consistently 580s all day. So I'm going to put 580 in the left lane. Now our opponent has dialed in, and we can see from the seeding sheets, we dialed in at a 640, and we like we know they like to hold a couple of hundred, so we're going to have them on a 638, for example. So what we basically do is we've created a run before it's actually happened. So what we can do now is we can hit Simulate, and I'm in driver point of view camera mode, so I can look around. Now I can play this race, I might turn track markers on, and I will explain this in a future video about how to use the track marker system in the win window. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to turn it on. I'm going to hit play, and then I'm going to pause at various places, down, points on the track. So I might change the speed just to slow it down a bit. Okay. So if I pause here, so we're just past the 330, and we can see the angle to our opponent. Let's continue. Now this is a dead heat run. We both got exactly the same reaction times and going dead on. Let's pull at the mile an hour cone. We can see where our opponent should be if we're going to hit the line together and resume. Okay, so that's what a dead heat looked like. If we go back to the time slip itself, we can manipulate these values. So if we want to hold numbers, we need to increase our dialing. So let's say we dial a 583. And we save. And we say, what does that look like? I'll hit play. I'm going to slow it down a bit. Water speed. I'm just going to pause it. Okay. We can see how the race is starting to look different now. Okay, we're, we're closer to our opponent than we were in the previous run. We're coming up on the mile an hour cone. It looks like we're going to be dead even, almost. And then we're going to go through and we're going to cross 300s in front. So now we've seen two different scenarios, one where we're a dead heat and one where we're going to be in front at the finish line. What about if we're dialed on us, but we have a poor reaction time? So now we're 200s behind, if you like. If I simulate that, and play. I'll just slow it down a bit. So in this instance, we can see that our opponent is out in front of us. And it looks like they're going to get to the finish line first. And they do. So what we've effectively done is we've run our race in three different ways. That is going to be a dead heat, we're going to get there first, or we're going to get there second. And this can be invaluable before you run. So imagine you're in your trailer and you've run this race before it actually happens. And then you can see the race unfolding and you can make a decision about um, what, what you need to do at the finish line. So that, in summary, is what the run generation feature is all about. 